everybody, I'm Ishan Funk. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm joined by a really awesome guest. Uh, he is a graphic designer for Marvel Comics. Uh, Nicholas Russell, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, this game is called Comic Cover Swap. Um, so the, the goal of the game is I'm going to show you two covers. Um, okay. One of them is an actual published cover, and the other is one that I uh, altered a little bit uh, okay. to to show more of the art. So what you need to do is you need to try and figure out which one is the real cover. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. We'll start, we'll start with an easy one. You've probably seen this cover a few times. Um, so this, this is, you know, w w one of my favorite covers, but there was always something about it that, that bothered me. And so, um, I'll explain that to you once you, uh, figure out which one you think is the real cover. I think the real cover is on the left. You think the one's on the left is the yes. real one? Yes. The one on the right is the real one. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. So the, the thing about this cover that I, I really, uh, that I couldn't stand or that really like bugged me um, was that the, the text that says like representing the now classic very, you know, that little paragraph. Oh, yes. Was, it was always so close to Spider-Man's face yeah. that it always made me feel like, why is it so close? That's that's so, the challenge with old designs. Like I do love the old comic aesthetic, but with some things design wise, like we've grown since then and we realized like that's, I like we would never set up a cover like that now because you know, they'd say, yo, that text is way too close to his face and body like shrink it, get it away, you know? Yep, yep. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And so yep. I was like, okay, no, well, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, no, it, that's the thing. It's like, I love this cover, you know, like it's like a, you know, this retro 80s vibe and I love it. But I was just like, it's, you know, it's too close. And so I was like, I need to move it. So that's, that's kind of what I did here. I just took the text, and I moved it somewhere else. So that way, you know, no, Spider Man can breathe a little bit. No, I, um, yeah. You do wish they kind of had that thought back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, like you said, especially with the older covers, it's just like, I love this cover except for this one thing. Um, so, okay, cool. All right, well, let's go to the next one. So you've probably seen this one too. Which one is the published version? That's tough. Um, I wanna say, I wanna say the right is the published one. But is that your final tough. answer? That's my final answer, it's tough. It, I've seen so many covers, now it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's why this was good. I was like, okay, he'll, yeah. he'll, he's probably seen a ton. He won't be able to exactly pinpoint um, yeah. So the right one you said is the real one? Yeah, I'll go with that. That's my that, gut feeling. That is correct. Yes. All right. yeah. I thought I saw that, but I didn't want to put all my chips into that. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, the thing is, it's like, you know, I love Paolo Rivera as the artist. And, I, you know, the thing he does, you know, he always puts a lot of detail in the background. And, yes. you know, I was like, oh, why did the 75th anniversary celebration cover? You know, it's, it's huge. Um, oh, yeah. I and, think that's and, a challenge because every time you see like such a beautiful piece of art like that, you just was like, could this be the one instance where you can just leave it <laughs> blank, you know, just run it blank and just yes. appreciate the art. Like that is one thing we talk about frequently, but it's like, I'm sure. You know, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I, I understand <laughs> like, you know, especially if it's like a, a anniversary issue, you know, like you, you, you need to put that on exactly. there somewhere. It has um, to be significant. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, but it's just always like, um, you know, oh no, I, I didn't, you know, there's always so much art that gets covered up and it's just, you know, I'm always like, it's a shame. It is. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Okay. Let's go to the next one here. Okay. So which one is the published version? I want to say published is on the right. You're getting better at this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll give you a secret. It's if you look at the bottom, you've made yours centered uh, based on the whole piece, but the one on the right has the bleed included. So it yeah. pushes those things up. So it seems like there's that extra space, but it's just going to get trimmed off. That's right. Oh, I've given myself so away. Yeah, that's how I noticed that because I've seen a lot of that. <laughs> that's a good catch. And, th yeah. and this is why I, I figured you'd be able to tell for some of these because of those, that, like the bleeds and stuff. Um, yeah. But this the other thing was like, I figured you wouldn't be able to blow up that crawl thing too much without it being like really grainy. Like that would probably be tough. Like I think you could pull it off, but I think, you know, it's easier to make it smaller rather than bigger. Exactly. Right. Well, the thing about this one that bothered me was that the, um, the Marvel now, um, you know, that the, the red, uh, boxes. Yeah. Um, it, I, it always bothered me that it looked like Aunt May was wearing an earring. Yeah. You know, I mean, 
So this I'm always like back before like our day. So I feel like we probably would have done it different. But yeah, that that is tough placement. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, there, I don't think there would have been a good place for that. But this was also another case where I thought the, the learning to crawl part was again too close to any important yeah. part. Like it was just too close to Spider Man again. Very um, much so. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. All right. I, I, yeah. One thing too is that like initially I want to put the Marvel now in the top right but we have a uh, four corner rule. So we don't want things in all the corners because it really has a weird like aesthetic. We always want to keep at least one corner open because uh, visually it helps with the cover for that. So for huh. here, if you know, you had something in all those, like, you know, for our aesthetic, uh, it doesn't really work as well. So it is tough trying to find places where you can incorporate all these things and not, you know, going against, you know, those guidelines basically. Yeah. Interesting. I'll have to look at that again. Like, yeah, okay. I guess there's always going to be one corner that's open. Yeah. That's generally, yeah. If, <laughs> if we try to do something like that, usually it gets flagged and we're like, no, we can't do this. <laughs> huh. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. All right. That's good to know. So here's another one. Ooh. Which See, one? I'm not good as DC. Yes. I, I mixed it up a little bit. So which one is the real published cover? I want to say the one on the left. The one on the left is your yeah. final answer? Yes. The one on the right is oh. the published one. And the thing that bothered me the most is that on the one on the right. The logo blends. Exactly. Yeah. No, I wasn't sure. Like, I wasn't sure if you're like going for like this logo pops too much or like this logo blends too much. So that's what I was getting hung up on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, and also like also the placement, right? Like it's again, too close to the main character. Yeah. So yeah. And that, no, where you put in the bottom is exactly what I would gravitate towards. Right. But, and I, you know, I understand also like, you know, the Batman title has got to be up top. I get that, but you already have like, you know, DC universe rebirth. You have that graphic yeah. at the top so i guess it would have been too much um but that's the thing it's like the, they might the actual... have that four corner rule too where like oh, they would think that maybe yes. that's too much you know being taken up there so that's right um but yeah no i i think if anything like maybe if you like shrunk the logo down and centered it more that way it's not like technically in the right corner you could like get away with something oh that's like funny that. that's interesting yeah. yeah yeah there's always quirks you can you know you know, around things like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I was just looking at the, you know, the one on the right. It's like, there's just a lot of empty space at the bottom, you know, and it's kind of like, kind of a waste. And so I was like, that yeah. would be a great place for something. And so that's why I, I tried to move the title down because then no, at absolutely. least, you know, Poison Ivy gets to breathe a little bit. Um, yeah. Hmm. Okay. All right. Let's, let's try another one. This one's a, this one's a good one. Which one's the real published cover? Oh, this is tough because, you know, DC does have their own aesthetic and I'm not quite as, you know, on brand with what they're down for, but. Mm -hmm. That's why I, I threw these in. I want to say the one on the bright, the only thing that's getting me hung up is the two different DC logos. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to go with the one on the right. <laughs> the one on the right is the final version, final answer. Yes, yes. Final answer. The one on the left ah. is the published one. Okay. Yeah. It. I mean, it's. it's oh, so cool... it's probably an older series, so that yes. might be why. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I. I thought it was cool, but it was just really hard for me to read the title. I, like Final like, Christ, you know. Yeah. Like I know they like what they're kind of going for, but at the same time, you're right. Like it. You can go for a certain look, but it doesn't necessarily always go as you had planned. I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I. I. It's like I appreciate it because for it, it's different. You know, it's yes, rare absolutely. that you see a vertical title um, like that. Yeah. But, you know, but yeah, I was just like, it's hard to read and it's just kind of, it looks like a bunch of letters. So, um, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Let's, let's uh, try another one here. This is a fun one. So, which one is the published cover? And now I'm just overthinking everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I got to go. I'm going to go with the right as published. Final answer? Yes. You're correct. Yes. <laughs> and you, I think you're starting to figure out like what I normally try to do is like I have a thing about titles being too close to characters. And yeah. so 
this was another case where I was like, why is the flash so close to the title when there's so much negative space at the bottom? You know, I think that is always the thing like, yeah, like, you know, yes, you want the title to pop out. So when people see it on, you know, shelves, they want to immediately go grab it. But at the same time, you know, what you did rightfully so is kind of expose that lightning bolt symbol that gets covered up by the title on the right. Yeah, like yeah. Like you kind of went in corp that, you know, that's his symbol. You have to have that pop out. So, right. is, you know, that's one of those things where I do feel like we've kind of grown to at least acknowledge those things and try to play off of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, yeah, these are all like, you know, at least 15, 20 years old, right? These are, these are older covers, so. Designs um, advanced since then. <laughs> totally, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, but I mean, you know, these are just things where it's like you, they, they really only had like two or three assets that they had to play with. And it's like, all they had to do yeah. was just move it down a little and it would have been perfect. All right. Um, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Let's try another one. Uh, so this, this is, this is another one that I thought would be interesting. So which one is the published version? I want to say left just solely based on, I don't think they'd ever go with us having the Hulk logo set up like that. You are correct. That was like my first initial thing. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Okay, that's yeah. good to know. But the thing like, is that... Oh, go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, I was just going to say, like, usually, yeah, they they are very, you know, key on making sure that, you know, it is very easy to read the title of the book, like, you know, whether it be from a distance or up close, mm. like, even up close, you know, you know what it is, but you still kind of have to, you know, cock your head to the side to read it, which, you know, that's a challenge, I guess, to showing that off to people. So. Right, right. Well, so I, I agree with you. I was like, okay, I, I'm sure one of the, the requirements was the title has to be huge, right? Yeah, I mean, it's um, a Hulk, it, you know, that's part totally, of how absolutely. you have to play off of it, yeah. Right, but then I was like, okay, well, why why is the title so big that it's like almost, it's almost like a third or even close to a half of the, the overall image. Like it's, it's covering up basically most of the Hulk. And it's like, there's so much more of the art there um, that I didn't even realize. Like he has like basically a whole chest and torso, you know, yeah. that gets covered up and you're just like, the Hulk is almost as big as his hand. So I- It's tough because uh, this is one of those covers where it's almost like you want this hanging on your wall. It shouldn't have anything on it. It should just be, you know, as is. Right, but, right. Um, Back then, like having like the red bar at the bottom was kind of like the like part of the trade dress for that time. And I think now mm. that we've removed that, I, uh, even if we did this same setup, I think um, it would have a little bit more breathing room. And I think you wouldn't feel like as much of the art would be covered up. So you could, you know, even if you have all these elements incorporated, you still see more of the art. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I didn't realize that um, just how many like graphics are on this, like, you know, basically that red yep. bar just has, it's just all, all the stuff, right? Um, yep. Yeah. And like so. we've updated our, you know, UPCs to take that, you know, digital edition slug and incorporate it just as text. So that's one less element we have covering up art now. So we're trying to be conscious of, you know, trying not to overload the covers, but still, you know, advertise, you know, certain things that might be, you know, coming out or certain, you know, series or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it's, uh, I mean, it's totally understandable. You want to have, you know, things that you're promoting or just like, you know, you, if you exactly, have a, yeah. new, a thing to announce and promote. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Um, you know, I mean, I, I don't mind the red bar with all the stuff in it because at least, you know, that's where all the information is and you don't really need to worry about it on exactly. the art. So I did, I did appreciate no, that's that. That's very being, true. Yeah, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, like I just, I was like, man, this Hulk logo is way too big. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Okay. I think we're there's a couple more. Um, which one do you think is the final published cover? I'm gonna have to go with the right one. Yep, that's right. Uh, that that one, I would say it's just because I don't think they'd want to break up the title. That's my guess. Yeah. I think. Um, I think, I think right if there. it's like a whole lockup, they want to make sure that that's together. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 But I, I, I have a feeling that you probably don't like how the logo is like about to touch Venom on the head. That's the thing, right? Yeah. So you're starting to notice yeah. like a theme, right? Um, no, and I agree. Like it, it's always this balance. Like they want us to have the logo bigger, but it's like you do want to give that breathing space so that it doesn't feel like you're, you know, approaching, you know, on the art itself. And you know. yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, all they would have to do is just move the art down a little bit, right? Like I'm assuming they 
they can zoom in a little yeah. bit or, you know. Um, yeah, with that, I think, you know, usually we can, you know, either try to duplicate or clone stuff so we can at least nudge it down enough to give it a little bit more breathing space because, you know, there's obviously plead that, you know, it's going to get trimmed off. People aren't going to oh, see yeah, that. Yeah. So I, we do have a little bit of, you know, leeway to adjust if, you know, that would help, you know, with the cover. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, I I was just like, it's too too close. It's like yeah, right no, on top of them. <laughs> no, I feel like even the yeah, like I if you took your Marvel like Marvel Tales and put it on there with the Venom logo the same size, I think it would probably fit better. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Venom yeah, just move it all down. Focused. You right. know, the Marvel Tales is so big and prominent, but it also takes up a good amount of space. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good point. Point. Okay. So this is a crazy one. Like there's just there's detail everywhere, right? Like, yeah. So which one is the real one? I'm, I'm guessing the one on the right. I think I recognize the trade dress, but also the aspect of the second printing, I think is something most people wouldn't necessarily include if they were replicating a cover. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, that's, that's, those are the things that I, like, I'm yeah, yeah, just no, that's naturally good. That's good. trained to look for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's great. Um, and so this is another case where it's like, I did not realize just how much more artwork is on here, yeah. you know, until I saw like a virgin and cover image and I was like, oh my gosh, there's like so much beautiful stuff the... artwork. That's the there's thing. There's so many and... artists you, you honestly like, and it's tough because you only have the retailer variants that do have the virgin options. So it's not yeah. all the artwork that has, you know, the ability to have that, you know, proper display, I guess. Yeah. I know. Well, this is unfortunate, right? Because there's like art from corner to corner. So you're pretty much, you're going to be covering up something no matter what yeah. you do. And you really just want to sit there and like, look at each detail and be like, all right, what's going yeah. on? <laughs> well, that's the thing. And it's not even like, you know, it's not even like, it's just background light. It's like, you know, you got Spider-Man being bit, like you have the origin of Spider-Man. It's like important stuff. So, oh, yeah, absolutely. you know, you're just like, you're no matter what you do, you're going to cover up something important. So this, this was pretty tricky. No, uh, yeah, it, it is tough. And that's always those challenges. It's like, you don't want to cover up things, but you got to place things. So it's yeah. like, how do you do that? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it must be like, you know, like, ah, uh, you just have to let it go, right? You do. Yeah, sometimes you're like, this is the best it possibly can. Like, you know, mm. it, it, you can only do so much, you know, you can't change, you know, the entire infrastructure of a company <laughs> and how they set up covers. And yeah, yeah, right. Doing it, you know? Right. And it's not like you can go back to the artist and be like, hey, can you add like two more inches of nothing at the top? Can you do right. that? No, that, yeah, especially for art like this, they'd be like, are you crazy? Yeah. They're like, <laughs> no, nope. Do you know how long this took? <laughs> yeah. No kidding. Um, all right. I think this is one of the last ones. Which one is the final published version? It's got to be the right. What gave it away? Uh, the four corner rule again. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was just looking at this as like, oh, he's never going to figure it out. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. One of them no, has four no, corners no. <laughs> covered. Damn it. So, yeah. Nice. Yes. Yep. I, I think the thing that bothered me the most was just that the Secret Wars was just kind of plopped right in the middle, the, the logo. I'm surprised that they didn't stick it like underneath the logo. Like the top right area has a lot of real estate next to the character where it wouldn't really, you know, just. Like, yeah, like all those bright colors should kind of be grabbing people's attentions and you're kind of dampening it a bit. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, it's just kind of, it, and it's huge, you know, like it's a big, it's a big yeah. logo and you're just kind of like, like, okay, I, I get it. It's a Super Wars, but like that could have been anywhere else. Right, um, you know. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes, you know, other people request like, you know, we want to make sure people know about this. And it's like, well, you're kind of taken away from the overall piece, but they don't necessarily understand that. I right, guess. right. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there was probably some debate about where to put that. So I'm sure it wasn't an easy oh, yeah. decision. Absolutely. If you want to look at my work, you can go to my website. It's uh, nickrusseldesign.com has, you know, a bunch of my stuff, you know, if you want to, you know, see what other stuff I am going to try to, you know, do more things on social media, but I'm trying to, you know, plan a strategy for that. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I look forward to seeing more of your work and um, you. you know, just more insight into how you do what you do. So, um, thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And, uh, I'd love to have you back again soon. Oh yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. Yeah.